It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept called impact that they want to have. Hello, welcome back to See The Martin Mass. Today we're learning about grid multiplication. By the end of this video, you should identify the appearance of grid multiplication, apply the grid method to multiply numbers and demonstrate how this method could be used to multiply numbers including decimal places. Right, let's look at this example here. We have 32 multiplied by 7. So in our grid, we have a two-digit number multiplied by a one-digit number. So our grid is going to be a two-by-one grid like this. So we have the 32 across the top and the 7 down the side. So 3 times 7 is 21 and 2 times 7 is 14. Then we add numbers from right to left down the diagonals. So 4 is 4, 1 plus 1 is 2 and the 2 is the 2. So 32 multiplied by 7 is 224. Let's look at this example. We have 84 multiplied by 61. That's a two digit number multiplied by another two digit number. So our grid is going to be a two by two grid. Uh, we have the 84 across the top, the 61 down the bottom. Eight times six is, is equal to 48. The four times the six is equal to 24. Eight times one is equal to eight. Four times one is equal to four. And then once again, we add the numbers from right to left down the diagonals. So. 4 is 4, 4 plus 0 plus 8 is actually 12, so that's a two digit number. We put the 2 where we would usually put our answer and carry the 1 to the next diagonal. Now we have 2 plus 8 plus 0 plus 1, that gives us 11. We include the 1 and we carry the 1 to the next diagonal. In this final diagonal we have 4 plus 1 and that gives us 5. So 84 multiplied by 61 is equal to 5,124. Pause the video, have a go at this example now, and I'll go through the solution. Okay, we have 376 multiplied by 14. That's a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number. So our grid is going to be a three-by-two grid. And I filled it in for you, and it should look like this. So 376 multiplied by 14 is equal to 5,264. Brilliant effort if you got that one. Right, as I said at the start of the video, we're going to have a go at multiplying numbers that include decimal places. So as with all the previous examples, forget the decimal place even exists in this example. We fill in the grid as we would fill in the grid with the previous examples. The only problem here, we don't know where the decimal place lies in our answer. So once you've done this, put your fingers on the decimal places, follow them vertically and horizontally until they meet. Then follow the diagonal down. Where that meets is where the decimal place will lie in our answer. So 8.4 multiplied by 6.1 is equal to 51.24. Right, in this example here, where would the decimal place lie? Okay, once again, we follow them vertically and horizontally until they meet, then down the diagonal, and 3.76 multiplied by 1.4 will actually equal 5.264. Right, as always in See the Mountain Maths, you're left with an exam question. Solution can be found in the description. Thanks for watching. My name's Greg. It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept called impact that they want to have in the world, which is the summit. What they don't see is the mountain.